It's Saturday, approaching five o'clock. Welcome to uh, maybe the last Saturday of March. Outside today. I've been out here for several hours. I've, well, I've been inside for a while now, but spent a bunch of time out here earlier today uh, with the chainsaw. I dug that out and started cutting some shit up. Uh, thankfully, my neighbor came over, brought his still chainsaw, same size blade. I don't know if it's like a 12 inch. It's not real big, but um, his definitely had a lot more power. So that branch that came down over there, we cut it up along with the rest of the tree and it's now back there. And then I took care of the one over here. But you look at the state of this yard and it is so bad. Not only, I mean, this, this all used to be beautiful grass. Now it's turning into moss. It's a total swampland back here. The last couple years have been so wet. Um, so the yard quality looks like hell, but all of these sticks and stuff that's down, it's gonna have to be raked. I can't pick these up. There's thousands of them. Um, so made progress there. That one tree, the top of it came down like five years ago, and now the rest of it is sitting at an angle. I tried pushing it. It's not gonna happen. My chainsaw is just not big enough to get through that, and I'm not really worried about it, to be honest. Once the leaves fill in, you won't even see it. As we usually find in March and April, I said the other day, everything out here is pretty well destroyed. Um, grass, landscaping, landscaping's full of leaves. It's going to be many, many, many days of, uh, of work to get things looking good again. Um, it's just the front yard too. All this is moss. It used to be grass, now it's moss. It's a swamp. Um, really not, and this lot's the lowest in the whole neighborhood, so all of the drainage comes right here. There is a little bit of growth, which is nice. You remember a couple of weeks ago, right before I left California, I had all the leaves picked out of here. I thought, good, so the spring's not going to be too bad. Well, look what happened. They all blew right back in again with all the winds that we had. So, get to do that again. The video I did on the airbags is uh, publishing Monday. That'll publish Monday morning. So, that'll be five videos for the month of March. Really, we, um, we set sites for 10, hoping that we get some submissions and some third-party content, too. That's been really low as of late, the last many months actually. Um, winter winter goes either way. Sometimes people put the car in the garage and it's not too cold so you can do a bunch of work on it. The last couple of years winter's been pretty bad so we haven't been able to do much. Um, and also with my car, you know E39 Source started with this thing um, when it needed kind of everything and now I've done almost everything. Definitely need some rear tires on here. I'm going to work with a couple people I know locally to see if we can get the Michelin warranty to come into play because at 6,000 miles we should not be at 230 seconds. That's 230 seconds in the middle and 330 seconds on the outside so that might be an indication of overinflation. Um, usually that is the case when the uh, inside wears faster but only 130 seconds of an inch isn't all that much. Um, I do need to pull the wheels off this car pretty soon. Maybe this week it's going to be decently warm enough. Um, just clean the barrels. These have been on there for two years. They're covered in brake dust. They're powder coated black. I'm not really worried about it. I want them to be black anyways. If they came like clean metal colored, I would let the brake dust stay on there because I don't like looking inside and seeing um, the actual metal clean wheel finish because then it would keep me motivated to clean that. Um, I cannot stick my hands in between the spokes. The car's too low and the brakes are too big to come in from the side, from the inside, and clean them that way. So once every couple of years, I'll pop them off, clean, clean the brake dust off the black uh, powder coat just for peace of mind and weight savings. Oh boy. Hey. It's a block. It's dark. We're coming up. What time is Ooh, it? Ooh, gee. It's 12. It's only 12.05. It's not too late. 12.05. The witching hour. Yeah, How do you feel? Yeah, I miss the witch. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. This okay. is a gang. He just made a Whoa. couple buckets. Mo buckets. I... Mo buckets. This is Mo buckets. Mo buckets. That's my name. <laughs> and... Mo buckets. It's one o'clock, everybody's gone home, and it's time for bed. It was a productive Saturday. I started off the day going outside, spending a couple hours cutting up that crap. Um, as I had talked about before, there's still a lot to do. But uh, Razvan and Sabrina came over for a little bit. We hung out, then they left. They had some family function. I had Jimmy John's with my mom, got through a bunch of mail. They came back, and um, we did the usual. Came back upstairs, Netflix, and now time for bed. So a productive day. Tomorrow the rain starts. It was supposed to start today, but it all went north. I think it was like over the lake or over Canada. But um, 
Got some E39 source work to do. Got two videos that need to be made fairly soon, so probably do some research on those. They're both product reviews. And um, that's going to be it. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Sunday. Hope you're having a fun weekend so far. Good night.